Welcome back to the shop. This is my wheel horse 312-8. I was mowing and I noticed it started smelling bad. I thought the belt was bad, but I'm, I don't know what's going on here. This cannot be good. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken the, there was a C-clip C there on the inside and a C-clip on the outside. I've taken those off. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Looks like some sort of a brake mechanism here. And just fiddled my way around this to figure out how to get it off of there. And then undoubtedly I can see there's a bearing that's thrown out in there. So we'll go ahead and see what it takes to get this going again. Well I loosened the jack shaft on the front. And ooh, take this in the workbench and see what's going on. Well, there's a giant needle bearing in the center there. I hope that's okay. That doesn't look cheap. And then there's a caged bearing in the front that is completely hooped. We'll have to drive that out of there. I hope there's a part number on it. I've got it set up on the vise. And there's a little relief in here. It looks like there's a big retaining clip in there of sorts. And you can see the gap in between. Hopefully you can see that gap. I'm going to get in there and knock this out. Well, that is definitely seen better days, so we will get on the internet and see what it takes to find the right pulley for this. Or bearing. It's been about a week, I got my part. It is a Stens 230-160 bearing. I'm not gonna mess around with the bearing separator and the press and all that because I think I can just go ahead and set this in the vise and knock this out. Got the bearing pressed on there. While we're here, let's regrease that bearing, but we'll take this to the parts washer, clean that out, and regrease it. This is overkill, but since I've got it, this is the Loctite retaining compound. It's designed to go on the outside of a bearing and help keep it from spinning in here. Luckily this bearing just disintegrated and didn't tear up the bore. Otherwise I'd be in trouble. Let's see how she cuts now. Well that's it. So this just pulls the mechanism back in and locks it in. When you release it, it'll turn. I don't like the way this is because it sort of could fall off. I guess I just got to keep an eye on it. 
I tried running the pin through this hole, it didn't fit. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. All right, I have to make a correction. I This piece had fallen off. I guess I just completely forgot about it. Um, so there's a little piece of U-channel that goes over and it holds this pin in alignment right there. So sorry if you saw that, if I assembled it incorrectly before, but that's the way it's supposed to go. So.